All right, so I've been doing a clutch job on a Mitsubishi Pajero. It's a 92 right-hand drive diesel, five-speed, four-wheel drive. And I'm waiting for some parts. And I thought, while I'm waiting for parts, what in my shop hasn't been worked on for a while that... Oh, look over here. Look in the corner of the shop on the lights here. If you've noticed, I've cleared out the front of this car had stuff stacked on it. It's been talking to me as I walk by saying, Mark, work on me. So I think I'm going to. I think, well, let me review what this is and what I've done to it and what's going on. This is a 1954 Nash Rambler. It's not the full size. It is the midsize. It's not the Metropolitan. It's larger than that. But it's not the Statesman, it's smaller than that, so it's the midsize. And I'm not sure it's really called a Rambler, but I call it a Rambler. It would be Rambler sized. It has the, the low fender skirts in the front. It was a two year option only, 53 and 54 and 55. They cut it out like a normal wheel, so it would have a, a larger opening wheel well, I should say. And then in the back here, there's a little bit of a cutout. Um, kind of cool to find a fender skirt for that so it looks like a hovercraft really cool car and I've done a lot of body work to it I was driving it every day about oh geez it's been years now five years now I guess um, this side was pretty well creased basically from right here at the front where the bumper would be all the way back there was a gash about that deep so I pounded it all out and filled it and fixed it and where I'm stuck is actually right here if you look at this door gap right here, it's normal half inch, whatever, three eighths of an inch. And as we go up, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter, tighter and tighter to the point where it almost touches and then it widens up again. <laughs> I don't know if that's factory. The other side is the exact same way. I don't want the paint to chip. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna take a, a die grinder uh, with a wheel and see if I can trim that out of there and make it all look good. Uh, it's crazy. It's never been in a wreck up here. Um, the unibody has never been compromised. And being that there's a big gap here and a big gap here, it's just crazy to think that that's tight right there. So the other door is the exact same way. I've got the scoop off, the fresh air scoop off, the wipers are off, there are vacuum wipers, the radio antenna is off. The whole car has been basically stripped down to bare metal and then now it's sitting in uh, SPI epoxy primer. And I did a bunch of work on the trunk. The trunk was rusty. Let's open this up. So this lip here was completely rotted and gone. It's looking much better now. And you can see there's still some rot in this little uh, seal area. I gotta take care of that. There's the radiator there, first aid kit, and a bar of soap to keep the mice from getting my ride. This is a six volt car. Really pretty cool. And I'm kind of getting the itch to drive it again, paint it and drive it. The original color is this green. These are the taillight housings. It's kind of a minty green. I was hating that color and wanted to change it, but now I'm thinking about going back to it. So this car is a, what they call a business coupe. So it has no chrome or very little. It doesn't even have a radio, I don't believe. And uh, the headlight rings, which are right here, and the taillight trims are painted as well as there's no chrome body lines anywhere. No chrome drip rail. I think it does have any chrome around the windows. It might have chrome around the windows, I don't know, but very, very little chrome. Let's see if we can start this thing up. It is a flathead, six cylinder. I'll let you gaze at the nose, it's really pretty cool. I love this scoop. It's been a while. Six volt positive ground and I've got a a gel cell in there and I charged it oh it's been a few few weeks let's see if we can get to start I'm gonna squirt some fluid in it because it's gonna take a while for the pump to draw fuel from the tank so we're gonna take the, uh, the air cleaner off and it does have a choke and the choke is closed so we'll set this down and we'll spray in some fluid give her a healthy dose that should do it I think it's 196 
CID, that's cubic inches. Again, it's a flat head. You can see the spark plugs all lined up there. Here's the fuel filter, and it's dry, so it's going to take some pumping. It may start and then die. I had to rewire a lot of the cloth wiring had been compromised over the years, but it's a pretty cool car. Let's check, check the oil. Yep. Plenty of oil. And uh, let's show you how we start it. So we got to get in the driver's door. Like that. Plastic. You can see the color of the dash. It's tough to get in here. All right. I know how to do this. Okay, so the starter is actually on the floor. It's not the high beam light, not that one, but this one up here. So you got to push the clutch in to start it. So turn the key, and the lights come on, and then make sure it's in neutral. It is. And then you take your foot and you press it to the floor until it engages the starter. Come on, baby. Oh, she tried. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you can see my turn signal lights up. She's going to take some more fluid. It's been sitting a while. Let's see if we can get out of here and give her a little shot. We'll give her another try. Six volt turns over so slow. Okay. You might get lucky. I don't know. Back in here. Tight space. And same thing. We're going to turn the key on. And we're going to push our foot to the floor in the clutch. Oh, she tried to catch. Did you hear that? I think that's all we're going to get, though. Oh. Uh, let's try again. Oh, this might take a couple. It's hard to get in and out. Need a second hand to shoot some starter fluid in there. Okay. Back in the car. Turn the key on. Push your foot to the floor. I'm trying right foot. No way. Oh, she almost started. Did you hear that? Let's try again. The dust on this thing. Woo! It really smells like starting fluid. Let's see if we can get her to idle just a little bit. There might not be any gas in the tank. It may have evaporated. Let's try. Okay, key on. Clutch down. running for another shot. This time she's gonna go. Oh yeah, there's fuel in the filter now. I think she's gonna go. Just let her idle. It's a good old girl. Old now. 2019 car is 70, 60 some years old. 54 to now. Okay, she's running. 
Dicke Weiber. Oh, fuck. Let me see if I can pump the pedal Don't remember if it has an accelerator pump or not. Feet in here. Uh, I think she's gonna need her shot. I don't have any coolant, so you can't run for very long. Where's the throttle here? Sweet old girl. We got her running. That's awesome. Makes me happy. Blew some black soot all over them. He's running. All right, now I'm even more excited. Right now, I'm gonna get a step outside and get some fresh air because she's a little stinky. Well, thanks for helping me start this cold old girl and uh, check in with me next time for uh, when we take her out in the street, rip around with a new paint job. That sound great? Summer's right around the corner.